Absolute garbage, period. Really impressive, two words, thank you. I'm Chase Crawford from The Boys on Amazon Prime Video and I'm responding to your one-star reviews. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm not gonna piss you about, Chewie. I heard what happened to Robin. You ain't alone, son. Soups lose hundreds of people each year to collateral damage. I can't stop. I can't stop. Robin! They were my fitness on the front page. Write this kind of garbage if I had a migraine while on sleep aid. Not one superhero has cowbell powers. You're right. We need more cowbell. The title to this one just says, Trash. Trash? I think they meant to write trash. Enough said. Yeah, I remember being in third grade. And let's give another couple of answers. One star, good, but not the tick. I'm gonna be honest here. I really liked the tick. The tick was great. It, it was really good. I watched this more out of curiosity than an actual interest. For me, it felt pretty derivative of other media that had done it better. Carl Urban was great as he usually is, and Jack Quaid did a great job too. Thank you. Queen Maeve felt like a throwaway character. Her arc could have been handled better. More screen time for Queen Maeve. Here we go. My five-year-old cousin got a hold of the show. She has been doing nothing but drawing dead, bloody people since. The level of violence doesn't belong in any superhero context, and there are a lot of youth that are sadly going to be watching this, sadly. You're not a fan of blood? Sorry. Oh, no. You got a fucking job to do. I'm invincible, stupid motherfuckers. What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you? Church boy, look here, f you and the horse you rode in on. This show is a big disappointment, in all caps. Well, first of all, stop yelling at me! I am so disappointed. Thought it was going to be something like the Avengers for adults. But no, it's just a foul mouth soap opera. And a poor one at that. F you. Oh. One star, at least with root canals, they will give you laughing gas, okay? I don't even know where to begin. I stopped after five episodes. <laughs> they lasted a while. I kept thinking it would get better, but it just never did. I was hoping for something funny, but it never was. I get it satire, and it does a good job at poking fun, but mainly of those who would be more conservative. It satire, for sure. It's very satire. Superhero satire has been around since superheroes have been around. We're just doing it in a different way. Um, and, uh, yeah, f off. Sure. I'm the world's greatest superhero. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Superheroes is supposed to mean action, right? In quotations. After the armored car and the A-Train murder, I was waiting for some action. And what do we get? A dude having a breakdown because A-Train killed his girlfriend and a new superhero becoming famous for doing nothing while everyone curses like they're at a drunken sailor convention. Ah! Series better pick up or it gets thrown on the trash heap. This one star review is some bull God damn it. Is that drunken sailor enough for you, mother I can't do this. You just pulled the fucking trigger. Earth's most mighty motherfucker! Please, 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 no, please! If you wanna be my lover